All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of May, getting back from a short trip to Germany. And man, I'll tell you, a lot of Riesling went down. And well, we stopped to visit um, some of the greatest wines in Germany and some of the greatest wine regions. You're going to be hearing about that in what I drank yesterday, part of the show coming up in the weeks to come. But today, we have got one of my favorite wines from Spain, from Toro. Yes, that's right. It's San Roman from Bodegas Borodos. And of course, the entry-level wine Prima. This is a wine that we have been selling, well, I think since the 2003 vintage, one of the first vintages that we tasted. Maybe the first, I remember when Antonio stopped in to see me with this wine, and man, I just said, this guy has got some great stuff. And what a great value, you know, Spain still producing some of the greatest values coming out of Europe today, and well, you know, the country's in dire straits financially, so... Wine's even getting less expensive. We like to see that. This St. Roman wine, I think the first time we offered it was over $50 a bottle. Today, the 09 Vintage this guy scored 96 points in the Wine Advocate. But I can tell you, you can't drink points. This wine is most excellent. Just look at the color on that. Incredibly dense. But still, this 2009 Vintage has got some incredible uh, appeal to it, even at this young stage in its life. You know, Toro is south of Ribeiro del Duero, and the Tinto de Toro Tempranillo varietal that grows here is the biggest and darkest and most intense of all the Tempranillos. We just had Manuel Lozada, the winemaker for Numathia, which we're going to put the review for that dinner, those two dinners here at the end of this tasting. I thought it was appropriate. Another Toro winer, one of the originals. When you look at the original guys, the folks from um, Vega Sicilia with Pintia moved in first, I think it was 96, and then Mariano Garcia in 97. And well, Numanthia came out with her first vintage 1998. So those three right around the same time. But uh, this is uh, Mariano Garcia. Well, actually, it's his son, uh, Eduardo, that made Makes this wine, but he is the you know the gentleman that started this winery. They've got about 60 hectares of vines, all estate-grown fruit, and uh, well, they do have a little Granacha, but this area is known for the Tinto de Toro, and like I said, it produces a wine that begs to be eaten with a knife and fork rather than drank out of a glass. A really big wine. The secret is to tame the tannins in these wines from Toro because they can be just ultra aggressive. And I have to say, like I said, this 2009 vintage. It just jumps out of the glass at you with this lovely violet floral notes and a wild strawberry jam, kind of black raspberry coulis coming, uh, really well endowed, some host of black spices, licorice, a dark chocolate, soy, a little bit of an animal note to the wine as well, really explosive on the tongue and really big ripe round tannins. Even though this wine is big and chewy, it's got some lovely seductiveness to it at this point in its life, even though uh, it's still very young. This wine was just released, and uh, wow, big and chewy on the tongue, smooth and velvety though, and wonderful freshness in this wine. This is a wine that is going to last for 10, 20 years or more in your cellar. An incredible price, $42? Are you kidding me? Anyways, we also have the 2009 Prima. This is the second wine they make at this estate. You know why I like a wine? We have it in several sizes. We got it in Magnums. We got it in three liters. And the Magnums come in this lovely wooden box. They're just twice the price of the 750s, which aren't here, but we do have 750s as well. Well, check it out. Everything we've got from Bodegas Morados on our offering today and our review of our Nomantia uh, dinners we just had a month ago or so. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.